guys, thanks for tuning in to Pine Mountain Outdoors. And if you've been listening to the podcast or following us on social media, you know that about all three of us in the group here have switched to a run and gun style turkey vest. Um, it was something that I had considered last year, but just didn't pull the trigger on it. But this year I did, and I purchased a, a Nomad Pursuit convertible turkey vest, as you can see here. And uh, I was just going to go over a few features that this vest has to offer in case you're considering switching to a uh, run and gun style turkey vest. Um, first and foremost, though, I will tell you that it is hard for me to, to really give a solid review. I've not hunted with this yet, so this is going to be like a more of a uh, first impressions of this turkey vest prior to taking it out in the field. So just to go over some of the features. It comes with two standard pot call holsters in the front of the vest, or left side rather. And right behind that is a zipper cargo pocket. It's got a place to put you some strikers. It does have bungees in here for that. And it does have a, uh, another uh, utility pouch for some uh, sandpaper, shotgun shells, what have you. Behind the cargo pocket is a water bottle sleeve if your heart so desires to put a water bottle in there. Uh, the uh, right side of the, of the waist pouch, we've got a box call holder that buckles as well. It's pretty good. Uh, you can fit a, I would be uh, surprised if someone found a box call that wouldn't fit in there, but uh, it is. it does snug, snug down pretty good as well. And on the bottom end of that, there is a sleeve you can slide some box call chunk in as well. One of, the, one of my favorite features on this vest is uh, something that's been lacking on turkey vests for, for those that hunt in some warmer weather later in April, is a thermosail holder that is made onto the vest. And uh, I really do appreciate them going and, and putting that on there. Moving up to the shoulder straps. On the right side shoulder strap, we've got a couple of compartments here for mouth calls. And on the left side, there is a, a utility pouch here that'll open up. As you can see, you can put some shotgun shells in there, hopefully Winchester uh, Longbeard XRs. And it does have a zipper pouch that it has access from the top as well. I've been uh, probably gonna put a locator call on there, probably any pro calls and out calls. And that does just zip back up, snap back in. And behind this, there is another pocket that you can access. I'm not sure what you'd want to put in there. Uh, if you've got a smaller cell phone, that may be what that's for. Getting to the back of the actual vest, we'll start with this uh, dry bag. It's uh, labeled as a game bag on the website, which would work. It does de detach from there, but I mean, if you were wanting to spray it out or something, I would probably use it more as a dry bag for a jacket, whatever you wanted, whatever extra clothes you wanted to carry with you, I would just throw them in there. The, uh, the seat is a real thick foam cushion. I have sat on a few times, it's very comfortable, and it does both buckle, and it does have a magnet that cinches right up to the, the back of the waist pack. Uh, behind the cushion is another zipper pocket that brings out another bag. And I was thinking that uh, this would probably be a good bag for carrying decoys in. So that may be what I use that for. But as you can see, it does just connect to the shoulder straps on the front as well. So you can actually cinch that in, run it just like that. Um, so overall, my first impressions are pretty good. I weighed this thing on a luggage scale and it was three pounds empty. And that is super light. Um, and like I said, we've been talking about this and, and, and switching to this type of vest for, for a while now. And uh, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna use it all the time. Uh, there's gonna be some occasions that, especially if I'm doing some, uh, some filming, if I'm videoing some guys or something, I'll probably wear my traditional style. I've got an Alps. Uh, turkey vest that, that's got a little bit more storage on it. That's probably not where. Um, but this is going to be made for running around in the mountains, spending a lot of time in there, and uh, 
and just trying not to be weighed down by all that extra gear. I think this is gonna carry plenty for me. Um, and another thing, it does allow, the straps do allow for me to wear a bino harness pretty comfortably. So uh, the price point on this is 150 bucks on Nomad's website. I think you get them in three colors. So you can get them in real tree timber, uh, mossy oak, bottom land, obviously, which I'm biased. I believe that's the best looking pattern on the market. And then the uh, mossy oak shadow leaf. So I give them a look. If that's uh, if you're looking for a more run and gun style vest, check them out. And uh, you guys stay safe. Good luck this spring.